morning guys welcome to a uh, very cold sunny day on the day by day farm we're headed out it's 8 a.m actually we're a little late it's 8 a.m though and we are headed to the barn for riding lessons it's been a, it's been a hot minute uh but we are riding with fiona I'm gonna grab my chocolate. yeah better grab your chocolate gabby any kind of caffeine you can get a hold of man anyway we're headed out and uh let's do this i got a message from a lady named vicky today i love getting messages from you guys and she said that she had the same problem with uh, her mare getting her into the trailer because she's stubborn and smart. And that is exactly why we're having problems with Penny. Stubborn and smart. She's not scared at all anymore. Is Should she? Should we drive down to the barn for a quick second? Why? What do you need? Because I looked at the thing and I need the, for the strip, I need the thing that okay. keeps the all strip Okay, alright. I'll be back. Colder at the barn than it is at our house. She almost hit me with the camera. Yeah, it's not an accident. Just joking. I don't hit. We are not hitting family. So Sophie has plans today. She decided, oh, she, so Brandon lent us a, a Western saddle to try and see if it fits Finn. And if it does, Sophie wants to have a Western lesson. Oh, I'm tired. Mm, yeah, big surprise. I brought my boots and it's not even that muddy. <laughs> I brought my boots too. See what Gabby's got. Oh, her good shoes, big surprise. I think we should split up. Some of us go that way. You hate that flavor? That's my favorite flavor. It's nine degrees Celsius, which is like nine degrees above freezing. <laughs> it's freezing cold. My question is this, why am I going? Oh, a squirrel. Why am I going? Why am I going when it's not even my horse? I'm not even riding, but I'm gonna be riding soon. Penny's ready. Penny Pickle is ready. Anyways. coming so you can exercise. Yeah, so I get exercise. I actually feel like I could run. Let's run! Just joking. I never run in a horse field. Learned that lesson. Oh, that's a chipmunk. There's squirrels and chipmunks. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's there best friends squirrel. with the squirrel. Oh, I see horses. We got lucky. Apparently they eat in the morning. Out on the grass with the frost. And then they hide in the trees in the afternoon when they think the owners are coming. <laughs> yeah, that's what Let's they do. Cool. Let's take a cold drink. <laughs> Give the mom the cold drink. Yeah. <laughs> I love catching them. Oh my goodness. They're all looking. They're all, it's so funny. Can I hold your phone? Put it in my purse. It's so funny because literally they all, yeah, they do. Except for Chino. Chino doesn't care. But what happens is that when they hear us coming, where is Chino? Uh oh. That's not good. He's behind that other horse. Okay. Okay, so basically what happens is they all poke their head up. My hands are cold. My hands are cold too. They stare at us and they're like, wait, who is it? Who's it for? And then when they realize it's us, they all put their head down except for our horses. Come on, she says. Say, come on. Come on, Chino McPino. Be nice. Use a nice tone. Positive reinforcement. Okay, I literally was not expecting it to be this cold. Gabby's complaining because she needs new winter riding gloves. Let's see, does he shove his head in or does he make a run for it? Oh, he's excited. He's like, you didn't hurt me last time. So if he's a typical horse, he'll wait until she gets just in front of him and then come. Finn is not a typical horse and apparently neither is Chino. He's like, you want me? You come and get me. Oh, he's such a good boy. Oh my gosh. Why well, you got a poop pin? This is a wider one. Huh. He doesn't like when I move his saddle around like that anyway. Oh, it's too tight. Way too tight. Well, ask Fiona. Well, I can already tell you, but yeah, you can ask her. So the Micklum bridle was too small, fit everywhere except for the nose band, so we're not using that. All right, so we are up and it's a bit wet out. It's a bit cold out. Every time Finn sees the barrels, he starts to trot. Lots of warm up, lots of walking. Barrels. I just do not see him as a barrel horse. Sophie, to Sophie wants to try pole bending really bad. And barrels. And barrels. Yeah, lots of training. But they have beginner barrel racing shows. Yeah. Yeah. Barrel racing makes a lot more than just going as fast as you can and pulling your horse around the barrel. 
Yeah, Finn, Finn likes it. He wants to do it. And Chino just likes to walk. Slow and steady. Actually, Chino likes to play. Great. I was not expecting my phone. So, a lot of... All right, here, I will hold your horse. Go get it. So, yeah, so we have, we have new plans. We have plans. Finn, okay. Oh, I would never hit you. Chill. Let me, see, like, even scratching Finn, he doesn't let me scratch him. There. He's like, oh, Sophie, he needs his head brushed. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Do you know the trend um, where you're walking and you show your feet walking and you turn around and your horse is following? Oh, I love that. Do you know um, what this co it's called? This uh, sound? No. All right. So, okay, let me tell them everything. So, uh, first of all, the problem with having your own horse is that, like, often you're working for the horse more than you're working for yourself. Like, and our horses need specific things right now. So, it inhibits our learning and are moving on because we're always having to go back to help our horse, if that makes sense. So that's why we've been riding at Brandon's barn because it really helps us being able to ride lesson horses and keep moving forward. And then we can still go back and do this training stuff with our horse. And I actually feel like I really enjoy that part. Like I enjoy them working on specific skills for their horses so anyway i told you guys before we're going to be doing a lot of trails so we're going to start that again this week now that chino's a little bit better and i'm going to call the vet about chino i'm going to call the vet today about penny and then we're going to get moving forward um i have friends that want to go on some big trail rides with us and we're going to do it we're going to get out there and we're going to do it so this week is going to be the rest of this week it's going to be more about trail rides but i just want to say i'm so proud of this boy not shaking his head he's like i'm so proud of you for figuring it out so how we figured it out is a lady messaged us and a couple of people have messaged us before but i keep forgetting about it and a lady just happened to message and then my friend said take, I do this one too. take the nose band off i want to do this one too you were such a good boy. Yeah. Are you proud of us, Finn? Like, you know, we're always saying how proud we are of him and of them. And in reality, they're probably proud of us. What do you need? Uh, can you give my horse treats? Sure. I love that. Uh, we need to put stuff on Finn's foot. All right. We are taking these boys back to the field. He doesn't bite hands, but he doesn't bite them hard. He's like, oh, that's a hand. Yeah, he just feels you out. I got nothing. I'm done. Sophie's all excited. We are going home to school now, you guys. It's already almost 11 and I have so much to do. I still have two brand deals I'm working on. One I think I can finish today. Have an easy school day for no, it's going to be a hard school day. Like Gabby has school every single day. So I do too. I feel like Chino doesn't look as skinny, but uh, we're going to change the way we put the saddle on. It slides back all the time now. Go eat. Aw, go eat, oh, handsomes. Look at Finn's already. Like, Finn's like, oh, I didn't even ride him and he still lost weight. He no, lost I don't. And weight. I don't think he lost weight. Uh, he's weird. He likes to just stand in the stall and eat slow, slow, slow. Takes him a long time. Gabby has a math test, her first math test today. So that's happening. First math test ever. She just finished, like, they had a review test and then as she's going to do, go straight into the test. She's having a break, we're going to have lunch and then she's going to go into the test. Scary. Um, so somebody messaged me today again, like you guys keep messaging me and it told me how they get their horse in the trailer. And you guys know that the only reason she doesn't go on is because, whoa, somebody put the tack trunk there. It was me. <laughs> It was me and I forgot. So the only way she, the only reason she doesn't go on is because she's stubborn. She's smart and stubborn. So um, somebody gave me an idea. I'm gonna do it right now. Jump into the car on a Friday night. I wanna drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town. I've never seen a sky so blue. So beautiful And I'm so lucky
lucky to be yours It did fix something else like lately when I walk Penny she tries to eat the grass at, and she never used to do that before and so what she had me do was carry my carrot in the hand that holds the the lead rope so she had a carrot basically in front of her nose the whole time so she was basically following the carrot and let me tell you she put her head down to eat the grass zero times so that was like super good trick. She said it takes her about one to three minutes to get her horse on the trailer with it. So I could just need to practice more, but I don't think that's gonna work for her. It's because she doesn't want to. She doesn't want to. I need to make her to want to. And you would think a carrot would make her want to, but she doesn't. Today I got a letter from a lady named Stephanie and she sent me this book and some pictures of her and her horses. She's 30 years old. She has two horses, a little um, mini that is a therapy horse and then her own horse. And I talked a lot about inspiration and being a fearful rider. And I felt like I connected to Stephanie so much through her words. She wrote them in the, in the front of this book, which was really exciting to me because then I always have her words to encourage me and to push me to keep going when I struggle. And when I opened her package and I saw this book that's called Horses Speak of God, I literally got goosebumps. I felt like I need this book right at this moment. Like she talks about how sometimes when I say a message in a video that she seems to have needed it at that moment. And I feel the exact same about Horses Speak of God. I'm at this point in our journey right now where I want it to be about making our horses happy and and enjoying them in a different way from riding, if that makes sense. I wanna, I mean, we're still gonna ride, but I wanna enjoy them in a totally different way on an emotional level like I have with Penny. I wanna enjoy them all that way. I look forward to reading this book, Stephanie. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the pictures. You're beautiful, you're wonderful. And I'm so proud of you for getting on every single time. You say that we inspire you to keep going even though you're fearful, but it's stories like yours that inspire me to keep going even when I'm fearful. On the verge of riding Penny again, I'm a little fearful because she's in heat. <laughs> so I'll be waiting for a week. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are.